my first painting update of 2023. This update will cover everything I painted in December of 2022. As you can see, I've been uh, cracking on with my American Civil War project, but right at the end of December, I fitted in some uh, gabions that I bought in the summer, and right on uh, New Year's Eve, I finished off an owlbear, which brought my painting total for last year up to a nice round 800 miniatures. I'll, um, I'll start at the front with the boring stuff, the gabions. These are resin, they're from Debris of War. Uh, they're individual and I just mounted them on some shapes of Sintra board. Um, they come in packs of five, so I got 15 altogether, um, just to provide barricades, defences for, well, all kinds of um, periods, really. Then we get on to the bulk of my painting for the month, and this is, of course, American Civil War. Um, I did three units of infantry and uh, one of the skirmisher units, again, because I could get it finished before the end of the month. All the miniatures here are from Redoubt Enterprises. Uh, they're all metal. So at the front here, we have the um, Virginia Military Institute Cadets. This is a special pack made by Redoubt. Um, flags here are from GMB Designs because um, I didn't get the ones in the pack that should have come from Redoubt. Um, I also didn't get uh, didn't get the artillery piece and crew that's meant to come with them, but anyway, whatever. Um, there they are. Um, these represent the uh, the cadets who uh, went out to uh, engage some um, raiding U.S. Union cavalry. Um, there's the film with John Wayne in called The F Horse Soldiers, uh, and then also they feature in um, Gods and Generals. Um, Gods and Generals, by the way, was a pretty rubbish film, but if you get the director's cut on disc, it's much, much better. So, uh, anyway, there they are. Has he got a bent sword? He has. No, he hasn't. There we go. It's tonks in the background. Um, again, these come with um, special cadet heads which weren't provided, so I had to go through and find a lot of beardless heads from normal KP packs. Bit of a bit of a disaster from a supply point of view, but at the end of the day, that regiment's done, and um, there they are. Next up, we have the Sixth Wisconsin Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Um, these are part of the Iron Brigade, so these are representing the Iron Brigade uh, in my Union Army. Um, again, they're not actual Iron Brigade figures. Uh, Iron Brigade miniatures come with their white um, gaiters, but um, they're not in the um, advancing at the double pose, unfortunately. So, uh, so instead I went with basic miniatures with frock coats and, and uh, Joe's Hardy hats. Um, and they'll do nicely for me for the Iron Brigade. Um, dark blue trousers instead of the more usual light blue. The flags for this unit are from Flags of War. Really nice flags. The majority of my flags for this, uh, for this whole project come from Flags of War. And then the final unit for this batch is uh, a unit of Texans uh, for the Confederates. These are the 1st Texas Regiment. Um, mixture of frock coats and uh, shell jackets, as they had. And uh, I've given them darker trousers because they seem to have darker trousers in most of the pictures I found. Uh, again, flags from flags of war. Um, This brings me to a total of uh, three Confederate infantry units and three Union infantry units. So that's um, that's half the total infantry for the entire project because um, each army will have six units when it's done. And then we've got the first of two Union skirmish units. These are Burden's sharpshooters um, dressed in their dark green with... Um, brown highlights. 
packs and gaiters um, in skirmishing poses. So they were quick to do. Got all eight of those done on the last but one day of the year. And on New Year's Eve, with um, 799 miniatures done, um, I got this uh, WizKids Owlbear plastic miniature and um, just knocked him out to, as I say, bring my total up to a nice 800. And that's it. That's um, That brings my painting for 2022 to a close. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who've um, watched my videos over the last year and, and before indeed, um, and to thank those of you who left comments and likes and uh, and who subscribed. It's uh, It's been great seeing the channel grow and obviously haven't reached the heady heights of, of some YouTube channels, but um, just me waffling on about toys I've painted, I'm, I'm fairly, <laughs> fairly, uh, overwhelmed by the res results let's hope this continues into 2023 i hope you have uh, a good new year and um, i look forward to seeing you at the end of january with uh, with my next painting update thanks for watching <music>